Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Beauty here, collecting blue eyes, white dragons, and other rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Today we have a package from, let's see, Drums, Pennsylvania. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so I still don't have any good ideas about what to do with uh, a stand like this. Um, again, the styrofoam in the back is still a temporary measure. But if anyone has ideas, please let me know. Hopefully I get the backs first. Alright, that's a back sleeve back. And another back sleeve back. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Never seen some cool black sleeves like this before. You can actually see the Konami logo on both sides. Let's start with this one. Out of the top loader. Out of the sleeve. Look at that back. Top left. Top right. Bottom left. Bottom right. Some damage on the bottom right. Some scratches on the upper left. Yu-Gi-Oh! logo. Surface seems... Moderately played. Surface seems kind of good to maybe poor. Moderately played. It's fair enough. Some more damage over there. Small bend on the top right. Appreciate the coloring on that. Deep darks. And for the front, hope it's blue eyes. Look at that. Oh my god, what a beauty. Oh my, jeez. Oh, I'm super stoked for this card. All right, let's get uh, the reviews out the way. Top left, some whitening. Top right, some more whitening. Bottom left, uh, looks like it's the best corner. Bit of a white line on the side as well. And bottom right, gold lettering, fully intact. Beautiful hollow foil. First edition, SDK, 001, Gold Eye of Anubis, let's see if that focuses, there, gorgeous, Blue Eyes White Dragon, SDK, first edition, oh, absolutely beautiful, look at that, oh, I'm so happy about this card, I've been looking for a moderately played, decent condition Blue Eyes White Dragon for a long time, and honestly, this these are Mostly out of everyone's budget at this point, but I think I found a good deal on one, so definitely had to pick it up. Absolutely beautiful. No foil shifts. I could see some surface uh, detailing on the sides. I think I could just clean those up if you can see right there. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Centering's pretty good. If I had to be a judge, left side is a bit bigger, but I'm actually, I'm still very happy about this card. Let's leave this up. Look at the surface on that. Oh my god, one more time. Nice. And for the second card. I've actually had this mail for quite a long time, but I haven't had the chance to open it. But I had a hunch that it was uh, one of the blue eyes white dragons, so I was definitely tempted to open it, but it just didn't feel like the right time yet. Now the top loader. They're really nice, actually. Let's look at this back. Immediately, the first thing I noticed is the coloring on this. Look how dark and deep those blacks and browns are. Very nice. Top left, top right, bottom left, invisible fold, white scuffing on the upper area, bottom right. Also some whitening. Oh, I just fixed it. A little line right there, dot over there. Surface looks the same as the first card. Well, I hope it's a blue eyes, but there's no way I can get two blue eyes in one video. Oh! oh my god. Look at that. Oh my god. Blue eyes white dragon. First edition. SDK 001. Gold eye of Anubis. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my god. Top left corner. Top right. The best out of the four, in my opinion. Bottom left corner. Bottom right corner. Jeez, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful gold lettering. All letters intact. Look at the hollow foil. Immediately I can see a slight hollow shift on the upper area. First edition looks clear and bold. SDK001, clear and bold. I have Anubis, gorgeous. Text box looks good. Very happy with this card. 
Yeah, I can definitely clean up these cards as well, make them look a grade or two higher, even though I don't really grade cards. Um, but still, absolutely gorgeous card. I gotta sleeve this up now. Also, the centering. Ah, centering's pretty good. Uh, same as the first blue eyes, though. Uh, a little more dominant on the left side, but still absolutely gorgeous. Some normal surface wear, but nothing I can complain about. Nice. So that's two of my favorite cards today. Two Blue Eyes White Dragons, first editions, STK001. Gorgeous Gold Eye of Anubises. And I'm very happy to add these two to my collection. These are actually the best condition Blue Eyes I have now. Uh, the first one I have, the only one I have, um, is actually very beat up. Like, heavily played, super damaged, like, the corners are completely gone. Um, I think I've shown in the past videos. I've been looking for two moderately played Blue Eyes for a long time. What I've been noticing in the market is that all the raw cards, especially the good gradable raw cards have been totally disappearing so to find actually decent condition blue eyes um, to keep to the collection you know something for the binder or just just to have um, in a top loader they're they're totally gone now like they're non-existent I also picked these up uh, so I can compare it with the one and only um, blue eyes and dark magician misprint uh, just to get a better look at uh, the comparison and uh, difference between the two even though yeah obviously one has a Konami back and one does not. These two will serve me well with multiple purposes, with the comparison and also just for a collection. Uh, it's, it's actually great to have three original SDK Blue Eyes now, so I'm very, very, very happy about that. Um, how I got these cards, I think it, th I think it was eBay. Yeah, I got these for e on eBay, like about 500 or yeah, I think it was about 500 buy it now price, um, and I was the first one to offer it about 400, and then I met the seller halfway so I got these for about 450 so about 225 each yeah that's a lot of money and I was pretty broke um, my savings definitely took a hit after the blue eyes dark magician but these two were a total steal in my opinion because good condition blue eyes are just hard to find I feel like these definitely could have went for about 300 or 400 each um, that's just being optimistic but it's probably the truth. I usually only pick up one or two cards at a time, but since it's two, um, these two to reserve their own video and their own spotlight, so that'll be for a later video. But again, super happy with this card. Once again, look at the backs of these cards. This one's been more of a amber reddish brown, and this one's a bit lighter brown, but both super dark punched in colors. Also list some of the price histories and the current market prices now. These are much easier to track since they're obviously North American, English, prints. Um, they're all over the market. At least when you look for them, um, they'll be flooding the market with actual unlimited blue eyes. But, you know, if you look hard enough, they're obviously SDK first edition. Either They're all either extremely destroyed, super heavily played or damaged, or just way out of people's price ranges. I'm talking about at least 500 to $600. Um, and then the gradable ones that I've seen for like very good or poor condition, those are still those still go for like at least four digits so yeah very happy with this um yeah i'm a firm believer that these blue eyes white dragons first editions are gonna like hike up in price seriously because that's already where the trend's been going um they've been disappearing off the market they're hard to find they're from the original sets so everyone loves them there's a the nostalgic factor and yeah everyone just loves these cards i sure do absolutely beautiful I'm pretty sure by the end of 2021, it's going to become more and more obvious that um, the first editions are going to be totally wiped off the market. They're just going to be so hard to find. Anyways, I'm super happy that the seller hooked me up on this great deal. Um, normally, I would have just gotten one Blue Eyes and, you know, sub $200 value. Um, but two is just a total steal at that price. Okay, I gotta nurse my savings now. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. I said I'd take a look at these penny sleeves, and yeah, they're pretty cool. Super light, no brand. Um, it's really cool to see a super tinted uh, penny sleeve. Definitely looks great for a presentation, so great choice. What a beauty. Another quick video today. Uh, I couldn't put both blue eyes on the stand, so I just put one. And I finally got a better display stand option, so I could lose the ugly styrofoam on the back now. And uh, if you guys want to see more Blue Eyes White Dragons and other rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.